Okay, this is 9.9, .9, representation of functions by power series. So for the geometric power series, um, for any function f of x, one over one minus x can be compared to a geometric series sum, which is a one minus r, okay? And we know that this sum comes from this series. So if we have a function that's in this form, we could rewrite it in this form as a series, okay? Now remember that in this case, that means the number in front would be my coefficient here, which is just a one, and my radius here actually ends up being x, which is not the same thing as the radius of convergence, which is why we used capital R in the last section for the radius of convergence, right? Um, and then we know that the series converges when our little radius r, or x, right, is less than 1, which implies that the radius is equal to 1 and the interval is negative 1 to 1, since this is centered at 0, okay? Um, so this is all defined if the function is centered at 0. Now, we want to use this fact to do some of our problems here. So notice, for example, one, it says find a power series for the function centered at C and determine the interval of convergence, okay? So they want us to determine this interval of convergence, which means we need to get this into the form that we had before. Now remember, this has to be a one and it has to be minus okay um, but the a could be anything okay it doesn't necessarily have to be one okay so let's go ahead and manipulate this particular problem now it is going to be centered at um, negative three which means like I'm going to want to get my problem into this form a over one minus x minus a negative 3. That's the form I want this in. Or a 1 minus x plus 3. I want to get this problem in this form. Okay? Now, we've got to manipulate this a lot in order to make it look like that. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite this as a subtraction. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite my function as 2 plus x so that my x is in the back. Then the next thing I want to do is write it as 2 minus a negative x. Um, and then another thing I want to do is I want to figure out how I'm going to put in a 3 here. So this one's going to require a lot of algebra. Oh man. Okay. So another thing I want to do is I want to factor this negative out. So this is going to be very, very, very tricky. I'm going to do 4 over 2 minus negative 1 times x. Then I do want a plus 3 inside there, right? But if I put a plus 3 inside, I also have to put a minus 3 as to not change the quantity. But then I want to kick the minus 3 out, okay? So if I kick the minus 3 out, I end up with this negative negative one times that negative three. So I actually end up with two minus negative one x plus three and the negative 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 is just a negative three. And I can combine these two values together. So I get four over Let's see, negative 1 minus negative 1 x plus 3. And then I don't want this negative 1 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide every term 
by a negative 1. So that makes this negative 4, that makes this positive 1, that makes this negative 1 go away, but I still have minus x plus 3. And so you notice now we have it in the correct form. Okay? So now that it's in the correct form, we can go ahead and um, put it into its series. So remember, this is also the same thing as x minus a negative 3 because our center is at negative 3. So if I go put this in the form, that means I have a series of negative 4 and then x plus 3 to the power n. And so then we know that the series converges when um, this term here is less than 1. Because it also wants me to determine the interval of convergence as well. So let's see what we get here. So remember, this converges when r, the absolute value of r is less than 1, which means the absolute value of x plus 3 is less than 1. a is just the negative 4 out front, okay? So then that means our radius is going to be 1 since the absolute value part is already by itself and it has x minus c, right? x minus a negative 3. Okay. And then the interval of convergence would be, let's look at it, right? If you have negative 3 here and if I minus 1, I'll get negative 4 and if I add 1, I'll get negative 2. So my interval should be from negative 4 to negative 2. Now you usually have to check your endpoints, remember? So if I look at this series and I talk about for um, x equal to negative 4, the series is actually going to equal negative 1 to the power n, which we already know before, if you take the nth term test, you're gonna get, um, you're not gonna get zero, right? So this is gonna diverge. And then we know for x equal to negative two, we get the series negative four times one to the power n, and again, by the nth term test, this also diverges. So that means the interval will stay open. So this is the radius and this is the interval of convergence. Okay. Um, these are a bit tricky because they do require a lot of algebra manipulation and you have to cleverly do things intentionally. So let's try another example in the next video.